So we're going to teach you how to make this groovy bus out of wood. First thing, um, we used a 2x4 made out of pine to create this bus. First we have to do a cut with a miter saw right here. And the length of this piece of wood is 5 and 1 quarter inches. Then we're going to cut, make this cut to make the top of the bus. And that will make the, uh, the height of the bus 2 and a half inches. Then we're going to use the band saw to make this cut. The, to make the windshield bus, then we're going to use a spade bit to drill out these holes for the window, and then we're going to use the drill press also to you to make these um, the holes for the axle. This is the Meyer saw. So cut wood into shape, hold work, hold work firmly against the fence and the table. Allow motor to reach full speed before you make the cut. Keep fingers outside the blade guard. And hold use it. a clamp to hold your wood down. Okay. So you have a clamp. Next we're going to make this cut. We're going to cut the bus so that its height is two and a half inches tall. And to do that we're going to use the vertical bandsaw. But first we have to make sure that the blade, that the blade guard is just one, above. The one fourth inch above the stock before you turn the power on. Um, you want to make sure the machine is doing the work so you don't want to force it. Um, Sharp curves should be cut with a narrow blade, um, or you can use relief cuts before you make the cut. Um, avoid backing out of the cut with the machine on. Um, you want to use a push stick if you, can, if you get too close to the blades. You want to keep a one four, or a four inch clearance. Um, you want to make sure your fingers are on either side of the blade line so you don't cut them off, because that would be bad. Um, Just a little. You want to use this to remove any scraps once you make the cut. And the machine has to come to a complete stop before you walk away. Turn off the machine so you can back out of the butt. Now we're going to turn it back on and make the other part. What are the things that are going to pull the stuck in your car? clamped to the table so it doesn't go anywhere when you're drilling. You want to make sure that the chuck key is not in here, that no, nothing else is in here so when you turn on the machine it doesn't go flying and hit people, because so that's not so fun. You want to make sure you're using the right bit for the hole you're making. Um, you want to make sure it's sharpened before you turn on the power. You want to make sure you have the right speed. So if you're using wood, you have a faster speed than if you're using metal. And if you're using a bigger bit, you have a slower speed that, than if you were using a smaller bit. Um, when you're done drilling, make sure you get the chips and shavings off by using a brush, not your hand. Because if you're using a hand, you might end up cutting yourself, and that doesn't usually end well. We're going to be using a 9-32nd drill bit to make the axle hole. Um, also, when we're drilling, we're going to go in a little and come back out so the wood doesn't get stuck.
also while we were making these holes, we had to make sure that the hole is high enough so that the wood does not blow out on the hole. And we had to make sure it was low enough so that the wheels could still touch the ground. Now we're drilling out our windows for our lovely school bus. We're going to use a 11 16th spade bit. And to make sure that we don't get blowout, we're going to go down part way and then flip it over once we make an indent on the other side. finally made a hole in the back of the bus and now we are going to drill through the hole so that way we don't get any blowout. So we're setting our vise, clamping it in and hoping Olivia doesn't mess us up. Thanks. have all our nice holes in our bus. We're going to sand the edges so it looks nice. Um, so the, the, it doesn't have any fares, so we're good to go. Continue sanding until you have all the sides the way you want them. Now we have sanded our bus and it's looking pretty pretty. So now we're gonna cut our cut our axle for the wheels. So we're gonna come over here to the bandsaw. Got to get the full speed. And now we have our axles, but they're a little ugly, so we're going to come over here to the sander. I'm just saying the ends of them. The wheels will fit better into the, uh, the, into the axles if we sand them a bit. Okay. Now we're going to glue our wheel here to our axle. So, I'm going to take the glue and hope it's not dried out like all the other glues. That's not really helpful to us. I'm going to make sure it goes any day now. Let's get a little drop in there. And we're going to take our axle and kind of push it through. And then we're gonna let it dry. This is a 
finished product, you can use a oil to finish the buds, or you could color it, or you could paint it.